everyone thank you for coming back to my channel i am stephanie if you're new here so today's video i'm going to share with you guys how to make a simple loaf bread i did some sourdough in other videos and i probably will share an, some of them in another video found a recipe in the book series that i got someone shared it on instagram i have shared it on my channel before um, but this is really cool book series if you want to add it to like your homeschool um books or something like that but she also has other books she shares and i got this on amazon and i will leave a link down below if you guys are interested her name is julia rothman she has um for the book series that i have this one is farm anatomy and then we have food anatomy and then in the box Still, we have nature anatomy and in there she just shares her experience with all of them and then she also has a little story in the front of the book on each part of each book like different um, reasons why she wanted to create this book and all the picture pictures in the book are really cute and everything is really nicely done she also has other ones on uh, Amazon. She might even have like a website. I don't know. I never went to her website to check it out. But while I was looking through some of these books, she also has recipes. And one of them is a basic loaf bread. It is going to be two loaves. So uh, she has also on there wheat germ, which I've never used wheat germ before. And I looked it up and it just adds extra, um, vitamins, I guess, to it and an extra crunch to your bread. Uh, what else? It also says you can add it to like, uh, yogurt, smoothies and baking. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever baked with wheat germ before, but we're going to add it to this loaf because that's what's in her recipe. So her recipe is pretty easy, straightforward. Mm. I'll show you the pictures, um, and her recipe in the book. Um, but we're going to make the one recipe and it makes two loaves. I have my loaf pans that I have right here. This is what we're gonna be using. And then I just have a basic little bowl here that we're also going to be using. Another cool thing that someone gave me, actually a lady friend of mine gave me them little white bowls from uh, dollar from the dollar store. So she picked me up some of them. And then she also told me about using these plastic shower caps to put over bowls and stuff. So I ordered a bunch of these and with me making bread lately, I use these all the time and you can reuse them if you wanna wash them or whatever, but they fit over bowls and different things and you don't always have to use it for bread making, but they're very convenient. I will leave a link for these down in the description also because I love these. Pretty know in the morning just because bread always seems to take forever. So we're gonna start out now. Um, and then also you can use your stand mixer if you have, um, I don't have it on there right now, but they do come with a bread hook. So you can use that or you can eat it. So each recipe or this recipe, um, you can do both. She, I think she even states that in her recipe, if you want to use a stand mixer, she says, uh, yeah, combine the ingredients. She has a picture of a stand mixer and then knead the dough. And that's like, she just gives you all different steps that you can do. So whatever you want to do to make this bread, you can do, you know, you just have to decide which way you want to make it easier. So I also have, um, uh, Amazon storefront down in my description. And I think I have my mixer in, uh, part of them links. All right. So this is what this page looks like for her recipe. So it's just the basic basics of bread making. She has her recipe and then she has all the rest of the stuff that you need to do, um, for this. So we are just going to do the first step first. So it's two cups of warm water, two tablespoons of honey, and a tablespoon of active dry yeast. And then everything else we will um, follow up with after.
things at once without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my This road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. Time has gone and I grew up. Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time started wrapping up some of this bread I have it right here we already tried some of it it's really good so this recipe was pretty easy with making up these loaves of bread the only thing that I think that I need to do different is let it rise a little bit longer just because I didn't get them as big as I wanted them to be um, but that's okay so her recipe just said like 45 minutes and I let mine go for like an hour and I think it should have been a little bit longer than that. And I think it just has to do with your temp of your house and everything. So I think next time I'll just let them rise to the top of the pan and then, um, and then bake them at that time. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys make your own bread or do you guys still just purchase your bread from the store um i just want to try this out because we like to have fresh bread um we have made bread in bread machines before and that works out pretty good but we only have one so we only get one loaf um, but i like to do the sourdough bread and i also like to have just regular bread on hand um and i think this turned out pretty good so all right, so hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.
and I'll see you in the next one.